Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt, also known as the king of armor destruction, armor wizard, zap, zap, and we have a body armor demo in the making. This is gonna be a brief introduction to this test, mainly because we're going to repeat our extreme outdoor test, and we have some plates from Militech that we're gonna leave outside and in our swamp for three years, unattended to. And then after those three years have passed, we're gonna shoot them and see how they perform. So let's take a look at our body armor that we have for our demo. This is an NIJ level four plate, 10 by 12. The difference between these plates and the last plates that we tested is that this has the polyurea or truck bed coating liner on the outside of it. So it should do a better job at keeping any of the water outside of our plate. Now, when we did that test, pretty much all of our plates performed to standard. I think some of the ones that had been outside and in the swamp may have performed slightly worse, but in the end, they all stopped M2 armor piercing. Mainly this is to see how the adhesives and the different materials will weather after three years. Obviously the strike face is made of ceramic and that's not going anywhere. This particular model weighs seven pounds, 11 ounces or 3.4 kilograms. It is 1.02 inches thick or 25.91 millimeters. They are single curve. You can see that nice single curve there. Normally with multi-curve, we have a curve there, but it is a single curve. You can see our serial numbers in the back. This is 0011. This will be our indoor control. For this one, we are going to leave it inside in my basement. You know, it's 65, 70 degrees year round controlled humidity. This plate right here is our swamp thing. We have a nice little fishing net that we will tie closed with some paracord and we'll throw this down in our swamp and let it go. And then this plate right here is our outdoor control and we're just gonna set this straight up down at my pistol range and it's gonna be subjected to rain, snow, freezing, direct sunlight. If this is the first time you've come across my channel, we do all of our body armor demos completely different than everyone else on YouTube. We try to maintain as much data points from the NIJ testing as possible. Since this is rifle armor, we're gonna shoot at 45 feet. We're also gonna shoot at zero degrees because that represents worst case scenario. We use a giant clay briefcase filled with bromoplastilene, a number one clay, and that acts as our compressible media so we can put the body armor up against and we can get a general representation of back face. Now, I didn't do this on the last two tests, but per the NIJ, since this has a ceramic strike face, we've gone ahead and dropped each plate on its face two times as a preconditioning test. You'll see that when I've done that, I mark a DT indicating that we've done a drop test, the plates are gonna fall over, and a TQ if it passes a torque test. And what that means is I take the opposing edges of our plate and we apply force and we listen for any cracking. Since this is an import plate, some of them are known for non-edge-to-edge -edge ceramic strike face. This particular plate, from best I can tell, almost has a strike face that extends all the way out to the edge. So this 10 by 12 plate has a 10 by 12 piece of ceramic behind it or tiles. We also have some drop face foam protected on there, which helps if we drop these on its face from cracking our strike face. So we'll get these plates in place and we'll check on them probably once a year and take the follow up videos like I have in the past and we'll throw those in the final video. And with all that being said, it's time for me to get the heck out of here. But at the end of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who help make these possible because there's a lot that goes into them. Number one is my family. They are a huge support to this little niche. They come out here and either help me do some shooting or help me mow the yard or take care of the property. Number two is my Patreon, Subscribestar, and YouTube channel memberships. I have a little campsite in the link campsite link in the description below. It's a landing page and there's different affiliate codes and discount codes and they earn me a sales commission and what I do with that is I put it right back in the channel. I'm kind of a data guy. I'm not here to influence your decision to buy something but if you want to give back to the channel using one of those affiliate links to either like PSA or my medic or something helps me out greatly. Number three is Militech. Again, in full transparency, sent us those plates and some other ones to destroy with no strings attached. And of course, number four is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.